Hi, this is Nas. We're gonna do a simple lab today. It's a very straightforward lab. Basically, the lab is gonna be about one configuring DHCP on a Cisco device, and then looking at the DHCP working. Very quick, Dora. We're gonna see discover offer request acknowledgement, but we're not gonna do a deep dive. We're just gonna look at it from the VPC perspective. Now we're going to enable DHCP snooping. What DHCP snooping does to your DHCP request, it tags on an option 82, which is basically a relay agent information. When it gets tagged on, goes to your router, the router panics and doesn't know what to do and your DHCP request fails. So we're going to do a simple lab about that. So this is our R1, this is going to be our DHCP. This is the switch, very simple configuration. We're just, we're just gonna make this a trunk. Uh, we're gonna do this as a router on a stick. This is a router on a stick. Row ass. Okay, I'm writing with a mouse. But don't expect perfect handwriting. And this is gonna be our client, which is gonna do the DCP requests. And also this switch is where we're gonna do our IP DHCP snooping or VLAN 10. So VLAN 10, VLAN 10, so it's going to be 10, 10, 10, dot 0, that's 24. I didn't connect my stylus today, so I'm just writing with a mouse. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to see DHCP work and then we're going to see DHCP fail. So let's put power on devices, let's power on devices. So the router is going to take a while. We're just going to terminal in. And where's my terminal? Okay, VPC is up. Uh, just for viewership, we're going to make this a bit bigger. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Make it 20 eh? So, option session. Of course, all, most of the videos are an, unedited, they're journal entries. So, if you're viewing this, hope you learned something. Okay, now everybody is super sad. Not one, no. And the switch. So, on the switch, as I mentioned previously, we're gonna, gonna make a host name and configure a trunk and make the VLAN. Oh, oops. Oop, boop, boop. Okay, so let's do this again. Enable. Home T. Host name. Next will be one. So I'm not gonna do it. No IP domain name lookup. No IP domain lookup. Okay, that stops it from doing uh this thing. Okay. Just in case I mistype again. So we did host name, we're gonna say VLAN 10. No, uh, exit. So we have we have that VLAN. We're gonna um go to the interface, which is 0 slash 1. Interface internet 0 slash 1. Um of course we're gonna say switch port mode access, which was access VLAN 10. We're gonna put it inside VLAN 10. I know I have a filter on my face because I was playing around with it, but I forgot to switch it off. So that's gonna be my face for the whole thing. Uh we have VLAN 10 and interface Ethernet 0 slash 0. We're gonna make sure switch port trunk and capture the top one here. Because we're gonna do router on a stick, switch port more trunk. And we have a trunk on the switch. Let's check show VLAN just to see. Show VLAN in brief. Okay, that's good. This is good. And So I like to make my SBIs just in case interface VLAN 10 IP address 10.10.10.2 Because this is just my way of doing DHCP Sometimes the DHCP server is so far away you need a DHCP relay and then 
You just want to test connectivity, you're banging your head on the wall, you're not sure if it's a layer 3 thing, you can't reach the, the routing. So just make an SVI on the access switch you're troubleshooting or just before the device that's having the DHCP problem. Just make sure that the actual switch can ping to your DHCP server. Oh, this, 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 this is me. And now let's go to router. So let's configure the IP address first. Interface 0050. IP address 10.10.10.1. Run no shot. Exit. Um, oops. That's not where I don't want, what I want to do actually. I actually, this should be called that interface. Because I want to make it a uh, route on a stick. Because, yeah. So, interface, Ethernet, 0, 0. Uh, no shot. We're not going to configure the interface directly. We're going to make a sub interface. And then we're going to say encapsulation dot one q 10 Just so it knows that, hey, if you see tag VLAN 10, this is how you're going to treat it. Uh, it's yours. IP address, uh, 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot 0. Uh, no, 0 dot 1. Yeah, let's do a, just a simple test. Oh. What the world did I do? My switch. Oh, my switch. It's two. My right, switch. Ah, uh -huh. It's two. Um, okay, good. First is up. That's good. Now let's configure our DHCP pool. IP DHCP pool. Uh, pool 10. Uh, network. 10.10.10.0 10 10 10 uh, Default router 10.10.10.1 10 10 10 Okay Now we're going to go to VPC So VPC, we're going to say IP DHCP um, Let's do a question mark So there's a D to show the packet decode So this will tell us the DORA process So we're going to say IP DHCP dash D Yep, it's requesting, it's trying to find it, it's a reply. And then after the reply, we get the IP address. Of course, it's going gonna, it's gonna to skip some steps, Dora, because this is just basically looking at it from the VPC perspective. Okay, that's good. Now we know our DSCP server works. Okay. Now, let's go to R1. Uh, I'm going to just say X for now. So uh, if you're not sure what X is again, X is basically release. I'm going to release it. I'm going to go to R1. I'm going to make it a new window. Um, okay, send it to new window. Okay, now we have two new windows. I have to make sure that both of them are visible. Okay, both of them are visible. Okay. Uh, let's just put this one on the left, this one on the right. Because I'm going to be configuring stuff here. Okay, now it's visible. So here I'm going to debug. IP DHCP server uh, packets. Yeah. We're going to verify from here as well. Uh, request. You see, request and reply. And we should have an IP address. Here. Let's see here. So you have received this from this MAC address. Basically, this is the MAC address of this device. So, hmm. what is it on this device? Uh, do, 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 do. Echo help IP. Let's just show IP. Show IP. Okay, show IP. And this is the MAC address. Uh, 6803. 6803. 6803. Of course, the formatting is different, but it's basically the same address. So it is the same address, not basically, it is the same address. So that's received on our sub interfaces, uh, allocating based on the class information. We have option 125 is not present. Don't worry about that one. And then we offered it, discover and offer. Okay, that's the part that's missing from here because we saw here only requests. Okay, okay. Dora, discover, we discover. 
And then we had four offer. We had an offer. We had, we had a request. And then let's see the last one. We should have a it. This should be setting request parameters and it's set. Okay. So you just say show IP DHCP bindings. And that's your binding. Good. Good job. Now let's screw it over. Okay, this one still has that debug. Uh, sorry, I, I have a slight sniffles. So I'll be sniffling a bit. So I'm gonna exit again. And then let's do IP DHCP snooping. Okay, so it's just a release. Ah, release. See, DHCP release. Okay, let's do this snooping. So snooping is basically on the IP DHCP snooping. To enable it, IP DHCP snooping. We want it for VLAN 10. Okay, and then we're gonna say trust our trunk. So what is the trunk? Interface trunk. So trunk is Ethernet 00, zero interface Ethernet 0, zero IP DHCP snooping trust. So we trust. We trust that. So let's say show IP DHCP snooping. Okay, that's good. And let's just say so IP DHCP snooping statistics detail. Just statistics. We don't see the details. So there's nothing right now. Packet forwarded and it's zero. Okay, let's do that DHCP process again. Okay, let's see. Now we're gonna see that it's gonna be stuck. It's just gonna say hello request, hello request, hello request three times before it fails. Okay, request, 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 and it fails. Okay, still waiting, still waiting, and can't find server. Or the server was there, but it didn't reply. So if you saw, see our switch statistics. It didn't stop it. It didn't drop it. The IP DHCP snooping did not drop it. So when you're doing a lab or in real life, you might see, oh, okay, so IP DHCP snooping, that might be the last thing you check. And then you see the packet forwarded, it's three, it, nothing is being dropped. So if you see a drop packet from an untrusted port, you'll see it being, being dropped from an untrusted port or just being dropped. This is actually because if you go to your server based on the debug, you will see here that inconsistency relay information. Relay information exists. So relay information exists. So I'm gonna hyperface. Right? So that means that when we activate IP DHCP snooping, okay, it actually inserts option 82. Option 82 is this DHCP relay agent information. So when it does that, you see here inconsistent relay information. It does not know what to do it to do with it. We have to add an additional command to all our switches that you or all the switches that you enable the ACP. So we're gonna say here complete. Okay. Reason basically so say no IP DCP snooping information option. When we do this, we go back here. We do the DCP again, request, we request, we go back here, and you see all that. You see the discover, offer, request, and acknowledgement. Okay. When you do that one, you see this one has gotten the IP address, then show IP, IP, and gateway. Now, you just have to remember, if you do this in the, most probably in the lab situation, uh, there's very few instances where you actually deploy and make your router um, a DHCP server. In some instances, yes, maybe you have a small uh, voice IP, voice over IP, uh, CUCM uh, type of deployments. That's, I've seen that before as well. Uh, but, but if you do uh, deploy IP DHCP snooping, and you run into a problem whereby your ports or your clients can't get an IP address, just be sure that you go to all your switches, the devices that you enable, and you just disable no IP DHCP snooping information. And then you should pretty much be good to go. That's it. And thank you for watching my journal entry if you actually do watch this.